The first task following the arrival of your new Noel simulator is to ensure you have received all of the equipment and accessories. Remove the tablet computer, which is packaged separately, and connect the RF module to either one of the USB ports on the left side of the tablet. Unpack both touchscreen monitors and connect them to the desktop computer. The GoMard monitor software will be connected to the GoMard UI controlling software when they are initialized. You have received two abdominal covers. One is equipped with a urinary bladder, which can be catheterized and drained of fluid. The other is the C-section abdominal cover. Beneath the attached abdominal cover, you will find an elevating pillow, which can be used to raise the fetus for Leopold maneuvers. Located in the Noel mannequin box, you will find an articulating 28-week birthing fetus covered with bubble wrap and a postpartum uterine assembly. Next to Noel's head, you will find two small boxes that contain other accessories, including umbilical cords, placentas, episiotomy kits, neonate head cover, silicon lubricant, and Allen wrenches. Remove the Allen wrenches from the box and detach the bolts from the knees and then connect both legs as shown. Once the Noel has been assembled, connect the power supply to her right side. Noel will not turn on without being connected to the power supply, although it will become tetherless when she is to be transported from one location to another and the user wishes to continue the labor process. Rushing the patient from the delivery room to the OR, for example. The Noel system can be purchased as the Noel 575, which includes tetherless mom and newborn Hal, or as Noel 574 that only includes mom. Now that your Noel Total Mobile Solution Simulator is ready for use, let us take a tour of her many features. Noel allows one to superimpose any number of issues, such as airway, breathing, circulation, or trauma issues, on top of normal or difficult deliveries. Noel's airway can be intubated both nasally and orally. Endotracheal tubes, NG tubes, and LMAs can be used. Intubation can be made more difficult by turning on laryngospasm. Additionally, Noel can be ventilated with a BVM or mechanical ventilator. Once intubated sensors detect the depth of the intubating tube, ventilation and manual chest compressions are measured and logged showing the instructor exactly how students are performing. Noel has multiple upper airway sounds synchronized with her breathing. Users can easily control rate and depth of respiration and choose independent left and right lung sounds, which are synchronized with selectable breathing patterns. Multiple sounds are available. equipped with several realistic heart sounds which are tied to a user defined heart rate and selectable rhythms.
Noel's conductive skin sites allow the attachment of real electrodes and defibrillator pads. This feature permits the user to track cardiac rhythms and events with their own equipment, just like with a human patient. To add to this realism, Noel can be shocked or paced with real energy for cardioversion, defibrillation, and pacing drills. An AED will display Noel's ECG, analyze her cardiac rhythm, and advance action, a perfect addition to competency-based programs. Noel's palpable pulses are dependent on blood pressure. Users can also disable distal pulses to simulate severe hypotension. Programmable blood pressure can be read using a sphygmomanometer, and users can auscultate the Korolkov sounds. Noel has bilateral IV training arms that can be used for bolus or intravenous infusions, as well as for drawing fluids. In addition, she has IM sites on both her deltoids and quadriceps. Noel is outfitted with a convulsion mechanism that can be used in conjunction with scenarios Preeclampsia, for example. The severity of the convulsions can be programmed with the touch of the stylus. There are two different intensities to choose from. 